Good morning, and thank you for joining me for morning prayer on this Tuesday, November 23rd. Today, we remember C.S. Lewis, that wonderful spiritual writer that I'm sure you're familiar with. I hope that you will um, read his bio at the end of this order of service to learn a little bit more about him. Happy are all they that wait for the Lord. Happy are the all they that put their trust in him. Happy are they who know that they are poor. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. Happy are they whose delight is in the law of the Lord. Happy are they of a gentle spirit. They shall have the earth for their inheritance. Happy are they who do hunger and thirst to see the right prevail, for they shall be satisfied. Happy are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Happy are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Happy are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Behold what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the children of God, and such we are. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who only does wondrous things. And blessed be the name of his majesty forever. Let all the earth be filled with his glory. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You trace my journeys and my resting places and are acquainted with all my ways. Indeed, there is not a word on my lips, but you, O Lord, know it altogether. You press upon me behind and before and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is so high that I cannot attain to it. Where can I go then from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there, your hand will lead me and your right hand hold me fast. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of Peter. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy, he has given us a new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, and into an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who are being protected by the power of God through faith for salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you rejoice, even if now for a little while you've had to suffer various trials, so that the genuineness of your faith, being more precious than gold, that through that though perishable is tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. Although you have not seen him, you love him. And even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and rejoice with an indescribable and glorious joy. For you are receiving the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your souls. The word of the Lord. I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice from the throne saying, behold, my dwelling is with my people. I will dwell with them and they shall be mine and I myself will be with them. I will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain anymore, for the former things have passed away. And the one who sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of John. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. 
It is to your advantage that I go away, for if I do not go away, the advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will prove the world wrong about sin and righteousness and judgment, about sin because they do not believe in me, about righteousness because I'm going to the Father and you will see me no longer, about judgment because the ruler of this world has been condemned. I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth, for he will not speak on his own, but will speak whatever he hears, and he will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me, because he will take what is mine and declare it to you. All that the Father has is mine. For this reason, I said that he will take what is mine and declare it to you. The word of the Lord. I set a temple in the city for its temple in the Lord God, the Almighty and the Lamb. And the city has no need of sun or moon to shine upon it for the glory of God is its light and its lamp is the Lamb. By its light, the nations shall walk and the rulers of the earth shall bring their glory into it. Its gates shall never be shut by day, nor shall there be any night. They shall bring into it the glory and honor of the nations. I saw the river of the water of life, bright as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb. And either side of the river stood the tree of life, yielding its fruit each month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. The throne of God and of the Lamb shall be there, and his servants shall worship him. And they shall see his face, and his name shall be on their foreheads. To the one who sits on the throne and to the Lamb be blessing and honor and glory and might forever and ever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day, we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. O God of searing truth and surpassing beauty, we give you thanks for Clive Staples Lewis, whose sanctified imagination lights fires of faith in young and old alike. Surprise us also with your joy and draw us into that new and abundant life, which is ours in Christ Jesus, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. God of life and of truth, your son invites us to see the world through your eyes and we find ourselves disoriented. You bless the poor, you bless the meek, you bless the pure in heart. You turn our world and its values upside down. We have signed on to follow your son, but this is a strange territory. It doesn't look anything like the life we have been taught to yearn for, to work for, to believe will bring us happiness. Yet you know the despair that besets so many of our young people who fear that their future has been mortgaged by our greed and carelessness. You hear the cries of those who have traded their souls for power and money and now have emptiness as a friend. You see those who are caught in lives that lead only to weariness and anxiety. Set us at Jesus' feet so we can learn to judge our lives differently. Awaken in us that hunger and thirst for you, which will lead us to your will and your peace. Open our eyes to see your unexpected blessings. Open our hearts to welcome you when you come to us in strange ways, then make us into a community of blessedness that beckons this neighborhood into your joy. We ask these things in the name of Jesus, who blesses us with your living presence, 
and fills our lives with your life-changing truth. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.